Hi guys, welcome back to Tactitude. And as you can see, Alexa is busy listening to In My Feelings by Drake, the Kiki challenge basically. Alexa, stop please. Uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been doing for the past few days as well. And that's got me caught up in that. And uh, so I'll, I'm back with a new video on Tactitude. And let's see how it goes. So now you guys know that it's pretty common in India that uh, budget smartphones are looked after more than the premium smartphones. I mean obviously the premium smartphones are also bought uh, by in huge numbers these days. But the budget smartphone is what is ruling India right now. And the brands that are dominating that, that particular segment are mostly Xiaomi and Honor. Like the sub brand of Huawei. So and MI also surpassed Samsung in the mid range section, the budget section as is. as the biggest manufacturer, smartphone manufacturer in India. Keeping that in mind, I'll be talking about the top 5 Android smartphones as a progress in the So the first one on the list for the best Android smartphones is my Galaxy S8 Plus. So I've been looking to exchange it for a price that, I, that can be reasonable but people want it under 20k. They are willing to give 15k and 20k or 25k for this. So yeah, that's the first one on the list. <laughs> So, I'll start with the phones that come under the price of 20k and I'll start with the Redmi Note 5 Pro which is a big fan favorite. You know it comes at a price of 15,000, starts at a price of 15,000 for the 4GB and 64GB version, has a good dual camera setup at the rear, takes good portrait, uh, portrait mode photos from the front and the back as well. It has got the update for the face and log, has a few good colors, works pretty well and has sold a lot of... Uh, Units as well, a pretty good fan favorite and yeah that's all about the Redmi Note 5 Pro as you know, yeah, many people know about it already. The next one is another from Xiaomi that's recently released in India, uh, that is the Xiaomi Mi A2. Uh, the Mi A1 was a big hit because of its uh, Android 1 partnership and the performance on a day to day basis with a pretty pretty solid Rear, rear camera portrait mode. The Xiaomi Mi A2 bumps it up a level with a front camera of 20 megapixels, a Snapdragon 660, it has Android 1 running Android 8.1 out of the box and it will be updated to Android P pretty soon as is with the Android 1 phones. Um, it's the rear camera portrait mode has been increased a lot and also the night photos on this phone uh, uses a pixel binning technology which uh, combines four pixels to expose more light into the photo so you'll get better low light shots in the Xiaomi Mi A2 so I tried to pre-order this on 9th August as it, as, what, as it was available in India at that time but uh, as you know flash sale happened and I couldn't get one because I didn't click the buy now button in the first 10 seconds of 12pm so that's it but yeah, make, make sure to check it out because it's a pretty good deal at uh, 17,000 rupees. Come, packs a good punch at that price point. Uh, price point. The next one on the list is a big name uh, Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 64GB. So, as you can guess by the name, it comes with a 64GB of storage. It's it packs a pretty good 5000 mAh battery so you can charge you can keep the phone on for more two days in power usage or medium usage and you can also charge other phones with it with it it comes with 64 gb storage uh, 4 gb of ram it's basically a xiaomi redmi note 5 pro with a bigger battery and uh, you know a bigger uh, whole frame of the phone it comes with an 18 to 9 aspect ratio display as well fingerprint scanner in the back uh, pretty standard deal if I must say considering decent uh, development in smartphones in the mid-range section and it comes at a price range of 12,499 rupees which is a pretty good deal at that uh, price point a dual camera the, for the best deal out there right now for the uh, rear portrait photo the next one on the list is a like, uh, if you say by the second leader in global smartphone sales from Huawei, the Honor 9M. 
It comes with 4 GB and 64 GB of storage. Comes with the amazing glass back design of the Honor phones in a blue color. Pretty shiny, pretty amazing. Looks like a top end phone, and that too at a price of fourteen thousand rupees. Available on Flipkart, and uh, it it contains the Kirin six hundred fifty nine processor, an eighty by nine aspect ratio display, the uh, dual rear cameras. Honor phones do a good job of the, uh, the rear portrait mode. Although it uh, blurs out a lot of the uh, like uh, background, but still it like, gets the job done pretty well. So yeah, that's all about that. It houses a 3000 mAh battery, so decent battery life at that price point, and yeah, looks pretty good. So can be considered. The next one on the list is another Honor phone, and that dawn launched just on 6th August in India. You see on play. So this comes with a 6GB, uh, 6GB of RAM. It has a 1080p display at, uh, and a rear, <laughs> rear dual camera setup of 16 megapixels plus 2 megapixels AI. So AI would do away with all of the issues that the second 2 megapixel, uh, secondary 2 megapixel camera has. So it'll <laughs> basically give you good portrait mode photos. I don't know what the 2 megapixel camera does actually, but fingers crossed and the front camera is a 16 megapixel it can record up to 4k videos so that's good and it has EIS plus EIS I don't know what EIS stands for and on a 64 gig of storage dual same as the standard with these phones in, in the price range and yeah that's pretty much it but the highlight of this phone is that it houses the Kirin 970 AI chipset so that's a pretty high end uh, chipset uh, from the house of Huawei and it houses a GPU turbo mode so this is a, a kind of a GPU boost yeah, you may say like wherein you get a GPU boost for smartphones to play games and it does pretty good job at that but it's limited to a number of a certain number of games right now so we'll see how it goes later on uh, so these four are my picks for budget smartphones under 20k just on that note, I'd like to wish you guys a happy Independence Day in advance uh, because I don't know if I'll be producing and uh, <coughs> I'll be making another video in a few days. Uh, so, happy Independence Day, guys! Have a great day. Uh, be patriotic to your country, definitely. And uh, Jai Hind! And uh, yeah, peace out. Keep watching my videos. Uh, love you guys. Bye.